Hello you guys, it's Pilatius and Latius. And for this video, you don't see the king, LeBron James. I don't like him. <laughs> I'm surprised my team is in the lead. Usually they're not going to win. I don't expect the Wizards to win. They're probably going to lose. So, um, in this video, I'm going to bring you my friends over. Oh, by the way, if you hear squeaking noises because I'm on the... I'm sitting on the ground moving i can't that's i can't stay still or else my legs are gonna go numb numb so since i can't tripod my send on pikachu i'll always show him like this can you believe that uh pokemon was just recently celebrated 28th anniversary i got a card out of it for free from gamestop um i'm 32 so that basically means i basically grew up with pokemon sailor moon that kind I think, but if there's one thing I clearly remember, it's, oh man, I miss Inspector Gadget. <laughs> it's Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, um, they're always in my videos. They're always next to me. I drop them. Because <laughs> they're my favorites. So they come with me for cuddles time because yeah, I sleep with dolls and I don't care. They're my favorite. They give me comfort. So they're right next to me. Like I said, 28 years, y'all. That's crazy, huh? So with that being said, today's unboxing will be Simpasi Kisu, uh, the collector's edition. It came today, so I have noticed, that because I've only been ordering from Idea Factory not even a year, but close to a year. I noticed that it comes about a week, So because it got shipped last week, and I expected it to come one week and it took about that long so that's not that long so, um not surprised pizza ha i just had a little bit of pizza but early not late because having a small red baron my favorite pizza company i don't want to do that late so yep yeah, it's all here i promise you i didn't open everything i wanted to so on these things, because when I first got Idea Factory, I could have accidentally not paid attention and thrown, like, where did they place the cards at? Like, because I didn't know that they placed their cards in here, you know? So I have learned the receipt thing here. Obviously, I won't show the front. It tells you what it comes with. So I account everything especially the cards so trading card number one two and three so i will might as well 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 go ahead and show you but before i do show you here is the rest now i don't have space which means i actually have to put up a new page for this so by the way, I don't know if I made this in time. No, because I think the last unboxing that I did was for Villainous. And this here wasn't announced yet. But I was wondering about this card since it came out with, I think, Sharedo Minyaks, which was in June. And I was like, there's no way Idea Factory is releasing a card without licensing the game, right? So we finally got got a license of it for the switch but idea i don't think is publishing it so i don't know what's up with that so but i did order it so i can't wait so yeah see i was wondering about that hakuoki man now that i finally have it on the switch i am totally tempted to play it on the switch so um lebron so this here here's the cards that it came with this is absolutely cute. Here's to tw oh, I see. Here's to the new year. That's what this. So I, I don't know who these are, but maybe, just maybe, could it? These people maybe be uh people who work in Idea Factory. Maybe I, I don't know, cause I don't think they would just put random people on here, right? <laughs> I really don't know, but whatever it is, if it's the workers of Idea Factory. This is a really cool card. I like that. And um, Happy Galantine. Oh, Galantine. Oh, the the um, Hyper Dimension Neptunia. If there's one thing that I like about Neptunia is their art is so sexy and pretty. But now that I apparently have two Neptunia cards, never thought I would. She, This one is my favorite still, the one in the middle. <laughs> and 
Simpsons Kitsu. Six characters. Yeah. So I didn't know that we had an older uh, lover interest. Is he a secret route? I, I don't know. But I could tell you he's interesting to me. I'm, I don't know. I'm telling you I'm interested in this person and that. I don't know about the other ones. But we'll see about these two and him. I think he is a route to. Cheers to I don't know what that means. Estadio. It could be the name of the world. Name of something. App of the year. App of the year. Dude, I don't know. But I love the card. I made a decision that, because uh, I didn't finish Virtue in time before this came out, so I'm actually going to play Sympathy Kisu before uh, Villainous over here, because my original intent was Villainous after Ritchie Evermore, which, by the way, I dare another ultimate kid to dethrone it because it's so damn good <laughs> i just finally started i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right la salute <laughs> i don't think i did <laughs> but that would be um adodofu and uncle's route so we'll see about that because i'm being told it is a, the best route in ultimate or close to it because my favorite final like secret slash secret route would be cupido parasite and possibly Pure Fjord, I think, but mostly Cupid's to this day. If you play it, you'll know what I mean. So we shall see about that, right? Because I just started and I already have a good gazillion questions and finishing e and I'm like, hello. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Morshion, like LeBron James, he's right there. Um, Morshion, and I'm like, he's the husband of the game. I love him even more. <laughs> That's all I will say. So, before I show you the contents of the, the box, um, this was about 100 I think the original price was 95 It was going... I had a feeling it was going to cost a little more because I think all the other boxes were 80 but it comes with a tumbler. And we all know tumblers are not super cheap, correct? What, where is this? Oh, the Latias. Oh, no, that's the pumpkin thing. <laughs> um... And I was actually, the the one thing I was excited about this was the tumbler because I drink coffee every day. And um, I got, I have this here just to show you. I love this thing. I use it every day pretty much. I got it from Amazon. The, no, look how shiny it is. Oh, iron flask if anybody's wondering. If you don't care about the cap because the cap is probably the biggest negative of the thing. Because it's really hard to close and open. I recommend this. I wish I had the choice of getting like two more colors. I got this one which I didn't really want because it was on sale. I wanted the red one. And they had blue. If I had money I literally would have bought those two. Because I literally drink coffee every stinking day. So I was excited about the tumbler. And let me have some coffee right now. Hold on. Oh it keeps it cold. And to my amazement, the you got you're about to see some coffee, bro. Watch me spill it. It's McDonald's cold coffee. That's my favorite. I don't not a big fan of hot coffee because I don't really care. It takes forever to get cold. <laughs> well, when I meant cold, you know what I meant, like cool off. I just like cold coffee. So, to my amazement, this is actually a pretty good uh. The size I can't really show it to well i'm lining it from bottom to top and they are almost the same size so hey does this have shiny oh no it's like a matte finish is that what you call it i think that's what the material of the box is too by the way oh is that the name of that was in the card estadio so either this is the name of wait it said the best app maybe that's the name of the in app in the game i'm guessing or the world's name or something but it's just a pink one. I, I like that my only negative uh, I, uh by the way where's the cap shoot i'm not even gonna show you the cap i don't know how to actually open the cap man not that it matters because i always use a straw with these things i don't know how to open the cap i legit have to watch a video of somebody unboxing because i really don't know how to actually open it and I don't know how easy it is to use, but um, my only negative is it doesn't have a handle. 
I hate that a lot. <laughs> That's like um, the equivalent of I can't wear pants without pockets or have my uh, a watch on me because it's one of those things I need to have. But since it came with the game, I didn't obviously have a choice here. So, um, mm, this is good. So, besides it not having my favorite thing on here, the handle, it's actually really damn good. I... <laughs> Um, so for whatever much it cost, I guess about 20, 25, whatever, it's definitely worth it. Now I have two tumblers. I can alternate. I don't know how to open the cap or when I'm at the cap, like the little part to open to drink. Cause the other cap, although it's hard to use, it's easy to at least open the top. And the thing is, uh, big enough where I can actually put this straw on top of the cap or on the cap literally for this bad boy over here. <laughs> So yeah, I know I literally feel like I just made half a video just talking about the coffee mug, man. Because I was really excited about it. And um, yes, I like it. What an odd choice though. But then I realized if this game takes place in an office. Oh, yeah, I should have read this. It says... A year has passed since you started your job as a designer, designer Estadio, so that is the name of the place we're working, a mobile app maker. After your yearly review, you're tasked with saving the company's new app. Estadio, huh? Oh, they're too Estadio. Oh, Estadio is the name of the building, but Estadio, I don't know if I'm saying it right, it's the company's app name. With the company app falling behind, um, rival apps. Oh, right, Voodoo Apps. You will join a new department to breathe new life to s <laughs> and meet some passionate admirers along the way. When workplace romance meets slice of life drama, can you and your team succeed? Will you find true love or will you have shut down? <laughs> that sounds so ominous, dude. <laughs> so before we actually, I show you the game, um, the cool thing that I like about the cup is... They didn't half-ass the box that it came with. They could have just easily made it plain and I could just throw it away. Surprisingly, no. They actually made the box uh, not throwable in any form whatsoever. And company travel <laughs> tumbler. Here's the map or mouse. <laughs> yeah, even the bottom and the top actually look nice. Yeah, it's like flowers. I know. This is not throwable. Hell no, dude. I like the design and the colors. It looks pretty. So, um, might as well show you the game because they packaged them outside for obvious reasons, I guess. Idea Factory. I'm surprised they license a game like this because I, I didn't think they do, but apparently they do. And I think this one is one of those like characters that has more of a faceless if you played like voltage games and stuff like that yes they do have a no face so like i said who did i say i was interested in this person that and them so we'll see we will see by the way i did look at the inside and i do like the cover in the inside a lot because it features everybody well i'm assuming this is everybody right so i like that i think i'm gonna honestly do that just switch it but uh we shall see this guy by the way him if anybody plays mr love i used to he character design reminds me of lucian because that's like the first thing i keep thinking when i see whoever this person is so you know especially in the box here which i have a complaint already and i'll tell you why <laughs> or i don't know if there is a reason behind it but it definitely looks like Lucian. so my problem with this is um somebody hold on one two three four five six so somebody is missing in the box it's the person that is like the oldest it looks like and i don't get why he's missing unless i'm blind and he's there somewhere He's not even in the back of the cover. So I don't know what's up with that and why he's missing. Because everybody else is accounted for. So I don't know why. But this is a hot-ass box, bro. Probably the steamiest box I've 
I have from Idea Factory or from the Ultimate Man. Like, hell yeah, bro, half naked, man. Come on now. But one of them is missing. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm not sure about that. So we shall see. <laughs> That bothers me because I'm like, wait, no, they're all not accounted for, so I don't know why. <laughs> and like I said earlier, this is like a, a, a matte finish, so mm -hmm. you gotta be careful, it don't get scratches, it can get scratched easily. Aw, yo. Okay, so the tumbler and everything else that I'm staring at right now that it comes with actually makes sense because. It's an office place where we're keeping to save a nap or something, right? So, um, all that I'm seeing right now makes sense right now. And here's the, what do you call this, a notepad? <laughs> I'm not going to open it. Why would I? I don't want to ruin it. It looks so pretty. See, I don't know why he's unaccounted for in the box. I'm like, why? So, we got the notepad and sticky pad note thing and other things and i wonder if this is like this is so cute it looks like a seal i like the cover it looks pretty i don't think i'm gonna open any of this because i i will feel so guilty if i wanted to use it and these are one of those i forgot what you call them like you put them on that something like that to mark right oh my god this is so cute i like that so cute oh See, I'm looking at the drama or the CD. What happened to my toothpick? Okay, I wonder if I can open this easy with a toothpick. Cause... Oh, oh no, I snapped it. Shit! <laughs> I keep forgetting his name. That is not Hatim. What do I have to do? Well, I kind of like snapped it. <laughs> I should have known. It's only a toothpick, you know? <laughs> Rest in pieces. Toothpick. And the CD, the other guy is still missing here. So what the hell? That bothers me. Audio drama? Do the other ones have audio dramas that I have? I have to look at it because uh, it's actually kind of cool that they have audio drama. Um... Okay, this doesn't need to be taken out because it's only wow dude look at the the art on this dude i keep thinking who, whoever has that name tag i think he's like eating ice cream man well thank you it, it did the job by itself but uh yeah <laughs> and uh oh look look at that it goes from like dawn to oh yeah i think i saw it on twitter like the loading screen loads according to your time so because it's eleven thirty three, the screen changes to dark so i think it goes morning dawn and dark that's actually really a neat attention to detail um i don't know if any other screen does that could, oh shit i kind of um i took it apart by accident i hope i didn't break the case because that would kind of suck that's never happened before I'm usually careful with that. Okay. I think this is just a very delicate uh, case because, like, wow, it came out way too easily. You got to be careful with this one here. Very, uh, whoa, <laughs> delicate. But uh, I like the cover art. It looks gorgeous. No wonder why this was heavy as hell. I was wondering why the, the box was heavy. So... Um, oh, dude, yo, oh my gosh, I like how it says this notebook belongs to love work, oh, that's so pretty, but, um, here, oh, this is so nice, I like this a lot, yeah, here's the side over here, um, Obviously, I would put my name Angela on here. Would I want to use it again? I would feel guilty, man. <laughs> it's like, this is actually cool. Anybody that actually uses these, this is definitely usable. And here. 
Uh, the quality of this is surprisingly interesting. I don't know what material they used for this, but I really freaking like this a lot. Holy cow, man. This is actually a nice limited edition. Uh -huh. Yeah, obviously, um, caution, this art book contains major spoilers. So, obviously, as it says, I won't be looking through it, nor will I be showing it to you. <laughs> um, yep. Maybe. Oh. Ah. <laughs> um, the cast. So, I... I just remembered there was one name that stood out to me because he voiced uh, Shadowby and Limbo. He has very good voice range. Holy shit. And he voices somebody. I don't know who Tainaka Nori is, which character that is, but that's his name. And oh, that bothers me. Come on. His name is right in front of my face. Is that uh, Ibu's voice actor? I think so. Perhaps. Because I'm like, wait a second. His name uh, sounds really familiar right now. Saito Soma, I think. This will take a quick Google search. Let's do it. Oh, God. This is my mom's phone. Um, how do I go back to English, right? I'm telling you, this got to be his voice actor, right? I'm staring at his face. <laughs> If that's his voice actor, my god, he did an excellent job of uh, screaming Ibu pretty damn good in virtue, man. It's got to be him. If not, then I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm about to find out. I'll let you know. Because that's the cast's name right here. And right now, Ken is the only one I just recognize. I bet you if I look at the other ones, I would recognize the the voice it's gotta be him right that mm. or no it is him i don't see wait when was virgie made hello oh shoot i forgot he voiced um akase from maniacs actually har 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 i think i skipped it because uh What the hell, man? That bothers me. <laughs> that means I get to hear more of him, right? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. That's exciting. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is him. Yeah, sympathy kiss. Ha! Right here. <laughs> His name just literally... St Holy crap. So I went from, like, uh, Virgie to this right now. Or when I get there. I forgot. He voiced Agase, like, my fourth favorite character in uh, Charades Maniacs. <laughs> Hello, and I don't know who he's voicing, because I don't recognize anybody's name right now. The rest, I just don't know, <laughs> except those two. Gosh, I saw his face. I'm like, this boy can scream, bro. You need to play Virtue. His voice acting for Ibu is so good. Um, He played Shogun, by the way, in Biru Shana, and I like him, or... The voice actor, but I don't like Shogun. Gosh darn it. I'm not like the biggest, biggest friend of friend to troll. But if it's done right, that's good. So, yep. He's in this game and uh, Limbo Shadowby is too. Uh, I don't know who he's voicing. Oh, wait. Hmm. I don't know what that name is though. Who is he actually voicing? <laughs> I have no clue. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this fun unboxing video. This is totally what I'm going to play next. It's going to be interesting going from Virtue to Simposikisu. Uh -huh. 
um, I am so excited to hear Limbo's Limbo, I should say, voice actor. Oh, dude, what are we ever gonna get? Um, Busta Fedos number two, man. Come on, I'm dying for it. Like, yes, yeah, so there. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This collector's edition for 95 is actually worth it. Um, it comes with a lot of things. Most importantly, quite honestly, is always these things for me. And yeah, the, these are actually kind of... I wish it came... <laughs> I don't know what the European got because they got a different edition, like a necklace or something. But I think it was different from collectors. You had to make two separate purchases. I don't know. Um, I kind of wish they included a pen because I just realized the most important the most important items in an office is like paper and pen, right? There is no pen. I don't know if European got it, but I have a lot of pens, so I'm okay with it. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to play it, but Virgie has that hold on me. It's so good. I can't wait until the fan disc comes over because some people deserve some better conclusion gush and like lucas like oh <laughs> so yeah i'll see you next time bye my friends